Alright guys, I've got my primary cover off. As you can see, I've got my primary oil right in that can. and My uh, clutch plates, the friction plates, are soaking in there. I'm going to leave them soaking until tomorrow. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to take that um, clutch spring off right here using some tools. Uh, the tools that I'm using is a, a clutch spring compressor tool. Uh, one of the part numbers for the bolt that I was worried about it not coming with was HD385591. It's by Kent Moore, but uh, I'm sure you can get a Harley one. It's just the most common one that Harley's going to order for you. The other part number, if I have the box, let's see, it's not there. No. Hold on, here it is. Uh, HD38515 A. So um, I'm sure the dashes don't matter because it's 38515-91 and dash A. So the A is the whole assembly, I'm sure, but we got lots of bolts and bearings. So pretty cool. Let's get to it. All right, so that's that part right there that I was worried about. You have to thread it on. And then you have to put this piece, this little dish piece, on like that. Then we put the bearing on which I assume it goes this way and then the washer and finally where did it go? A little handle piece which is probably right here okay yeah, there it is so we just put this on like this and we're supposed to tighten it down until the spring is compressed and and then you're supposed to snap a snap ring. Let me read this. Let's see. That's not it. It says, place the bridge of the spring compressing tool against the diaphragm spring, which I have done. Install the bearing and washer. Thread the tool handle into the end of the forcing screw. Turn compressing tool handle only the amount required to release the spring seat and remove the snap ring. Excessive compression of the diaphragm spring could damage clutch pressure plate. So, what we're trying to do, the whole goal, um, is getting this little lock ring out, which is like right in here. So, we'll do that and then we'll come back. I'm sorry I can't film doing it because it's a secret. Alright, so I had to go get a snap ring because anyone doing this clutch work needs to know this so let me get in here turn the light on so I've got the clutch back back together anyone using a screaming eagle clutch kit again you might have to take one pair out of uh, one friction plate and one steel plate uh, otherwise it doesn't fit quite where it needs to be here um, this snap ring here and the uh, the snap ring retainer which is like a, just a loop that is pressed in by the spring here these won't fit in place if you if you use everything there so what I need to do is I need to replace this clip which is this one here because this one's egg shaped and it's not going to work it's recommended to replace it so I'm going to go ahead and do that this tool has been a pretty invaluable tool it's a spring compressor tool I'm glad I got it it made my life a lot easier as far as um, replacing the clutch goes and I, I'm glad I didn't have to struggle with it or anything like that so I'm gonna center this like that find my wrench tighten it down just enough to clear that snap ring there and then let's see if I can get it out Nope, I need to tighten it a little more. Alright. There we go. There's the retainer. And then we just kind of pry this out. Because I don't need it anymore and I'm over it. 
There we go. And now the clutch pack tries to fall out. I forgot about that. So I gotta get this out of there. The new ring. It's gonna probably be a nightmare. And I might cut away and just show it finished because it takes a lot of work and a little bit of time and some patience as far as this goes. Um, come on. Ooh, give it back. There we go. So this ring needs to push below where the snap ring goes. So I tightened the clutch spring a little bit more so I could push the retainer ring a little bit down more. Hopefully that'll help. Now this one's circ circular. This one is not. It is egg shaped. So Hopefully you can see the difference, but it's a little more obvious when you're trying to get it in there that it's an egg shape and it doesn't quite line up the way you want it to. So I have a, a snap ring tool. It just doesn't work too well with this type of snap ring. This was significantly easier with the, the properly shaped snap ring, so do yourselves a favor and save yourself the frustration and just go bite the bullet for like the six bucks or whatever it was, two bucks. I don't remember, it was it was cheap. Um, and it was well worth it because that, that saved me a lot of frustration. I spent several hours last night trying to get this to work. So that being said, that's done. Uh, screwdriver. So I'm actually going to put this back together. I just thought you guys might want to see the inside a little bit. Uh, for complete how-to instructions, check out the Mechanic Girls YouTube or MechanicGirls.com. We should be having a video uploaded. Um, if not already, then pretty soon here with full instructions on how to do it. Um, because she does most of the work I just she's at work right now so I got to put this snap ring in and I'm gonna put it back together and seal it up since I I'm impatient and I don't want to wait so if you guys like it check it out subscribe to them um, see what they're all about all right so I got my bike back together got the clutch adjusted I hope I'm gonna test it out right now if it works fine, then I'm going to go down to the, the store, the little convenience store, and check my tire pressure because it's low. Let's find out. Oh yeah, that is a stiffer clutch. Woo! That is springy. Better watch it. Let's go quick. Oh my god. I'm going to have to relearn how to do this. Clutch. Alright, let's go to the store. Been riding on that R6 so long, I don't remember how to ride my own bike. It's going to take some relearning. I just finally adjusted the R6. Alright. Alright. Got air in my tires. Got an energy drink. Now I'm amped. And ready to go. Adjusted my clutch a little bit. We'll see if it's as grabby. And if it is, might adjust it more. Might keep it. Might just get used to it because it's how my clutch has always been. Let's find out. I've got a new starter too, so let's see if it stays consistent. Yeah. 
I like that. Yeah, this crab's close compared to that R6. exhaust coming in tomorrow so hopefully that rattling goes away I think it's just a rattling of the exhaust oh man I chugged that energy drink too fast it's trying to come back up it's turning on me yeah this is what a bike should sound like so clean I can see out of it. That's gonna be the hardest adjustment is adjusting to one mirror again. Wow this clutch is, is snappy. Oh my gosh. What? What? Hey I heard her. Um, no, I, uh, I, I think I might have found out why I uh, have that oil leak. So I bought uh, an O-ring that's supposed to go there that none of my connections have. Simple little $2 O-ring. And I'm going to try to put it on right now and hopefully I won't burn myself too bad. You got that, YouTube crew? We're going to fuck shit up.